of State Express 3-5 Spilter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting The Creaking Door. taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. Charter, sir. Thanks. You all ready? All ready, sir. This way, the governor's waiting for you. I know my way. Yeah, and you ought to know, sir, seeing as how you've been here so often. You may like to know he ate a good breakfast. Oh, the prisoner. That's right. Resigned, he seems. You don't have to come with me. Sorry, sir, it's regulation. A warder must accompany the hangman at all times really so that you don't get attacked, sir. You right. see, some of the prisoners are getting a bit angry. Very popular, Harry Morse is, Mr. Charter. Very popular among the villains. Well, here you are, Governor's office. Come in. Good morning, Major Wilson. Good morning, Charteris. You're late. Uh, there was fog in town. Well, don't tell me that's kept you. No, perhaps not. Or are you like the rest of us? Scared. I never been too scared to do my duty. The men think he's innocent. Ah, Major Wills, they aren't men. You aren't in the army now. They're prisoners. He's a murderer. He was found guilty by a jury of his peers. Very probably sentenced to death. The trouble is, I think Morse is innocent. Don't you? With respect. He's in our province, sir. You're the prison governor, and I'm the hangman. Respective parts are very simple. Got to play them properly. Now, if, uh, if you excuse me, sir, I see that all's well in the execution chamber. I'll see you there, Governor. You have to sign the warrant before I can act, remember? Yes, I'll be there. 
much as I hate the idea of hanging an innocent man. Our duty is plain. Yes, I shall be there. like for you, and uh, I'm sorry. No. Nobody knows what it's like. It's lonely, my friend. Lonelier than outer space. Only one way to look at it. We all got to go sometime. You might have been spared worse than that, hanging. Spared worse? Would it make you feel any better to confess? Usually does, they say. And it's customary. Confess? Confess to a murder I didn't do. I didn't kill Judge Peters. I wasn't near the house. I was called out by the man I told them about, the tall man. He kept me busy while they... They did what had to be done. I was framed, I tell you. Well, it's your business. But the gun was yours and it had your prints on it. You're known as a criminal. The judge had given you five years of hard labor. And you thought he'd no right to do it. You escaped from jail, man. How could you be innocent? No, it doesn't matter. It's too late now. Yes, it is too late. How long have I got? Mm, ten minutes. Brace up, Morse. You're a popular man, and since the days of the old highwaymen, popular villains always made a good end. Yes, we'll all remember you, Morse. Don't worry about that. We'll all remember you. wrong, man. What's wrong? I can't go through with it, that's all. I can't. Put yourself together. I've seen the sign. Sign, I'll tell you. There in the execution shed. No, no, I can't go through with it. The chap's innocent. You speak of a sign. What sign? Oh, when, when I opened the door of the execution shed, he was there. Morse. Standing on a trap of the gallows. The rope round his neck. It couldn't have been Morse. Yeah. Morse is in the condemned cell and you know it. And he's alive, so it could hardly have been his ghost. I'll tell you. I tell you, I see Put yourself you. together. You're suffering from nerves, that's all. Me? Me suffering from nerves? Not in your life. Remember what happened to your father? Yeah. My father was the best hangman this country ever had. Well, he killed himself, all right, very well. Lots of us go that way. You see, uh, a man's sort of different when he's alone. That's when they come. When they stand round with their heads bent. The ones you turned off. When the daylight comes, it's, it's different. It just vanish away. Whoever heard of a haunted execution shed? Why, the idea is nonsense. That's exactly I tell you. what I've been what telling you, man. You? Hang it all, Charters. You you can't expect me to ring up the Home Secretary and, and get him to postpone an execution because you started seeing I'll tell you, things. He was standing on the trap with the rope round his neck. The hood was over his head. He raised a hand to me. Stop. It's like a cop on point duty. Excuse me, sir. Is the execution postponed? No, of course not. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it is. Because, beg your pardon, sir, that poor fellow waiting in the death cell. The convicts are starting to get out of hand. You know what it's like when there's an execution. They're all on edge. Morse is a very popular man. Yeah, I'll talk to Morse, then to the men. And, Charters, you stay here and try to screw up enough courage to do your job. Water Bates, examine the execution shed and tell me what you discover. We'll meet here in ten minutes. Affected by any execution. 
When one is delayed, well, they tend to break down. You know I'm innocent. So do you. I have not studied your case, Morse. It's none of my business. You were properly found guilty by a jury of your peers. That's all that concerns me. You were sentenced to death, and jail delivery was effected at my prison. I didn't kill Judge Peters. A tall man lured me away from home that night. <laughs> but there's no use talking to you. It's not your fault, I know that. Mm. There was a single fact you could remember about this man. Or if you could explain away one bit of the evidence. No, no, listen. No, that's it, you see. I've been cleverly framed. Nothing's been left to chance. The torch had got me out of my house and away from home. Then I had no alibi. That was when they killed the judge. Morse, what can you remember about this man? Think. Think hard. Nothing. I remember nothing. What did he say? He said my brother was in trouble, that he'd been arrested. He said his name was Lippy. That's all, just Lippy. He said I had to sign for my brother's bail. Every thief caught with the goods on him always says a tall man handed them over, or a short man, or a fat man. Never a man who can be identified. Try, Morse. You're standing in the very shadow of death. I think that can help you. But somehow I've always believed your story. There's nothing that can be done. Don't try, man, try. What kind of a voice had this tall man? Voice? <laughs> like a crook. Like an old lag. Talk from one corner of his mouth without moving his lips, you know. It's hopeless, isn't it? Yes, I know that. Nothing short of supernatural aid could save me now. And there's no hope of that. Isn't there, I wonder? Examine the execution shed, sir. There's nothing there. Nothing at all. I don't believe it. You're lying, Bates. I'm not used to being called a liar, even by a hangman. Who's lost his nerve? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I've well, seen that's it. That's enough. I've yes, seen it. That's enough, both of you. I'm going to report a small technical hitch in the execution. Yeah. Bates, take Chartres here to the execution shed and demonstrate there's no spooks or bogeys in it. Yeah. Then test the gallows with a bag of sand, the same weight as the prisoner. The execution will take place immediately afterwards. You got it? Yes, sir. Right, go to it. There. Perfect. Want me to try it again? No, no. It worked. They know he's not guilty. Straighten your spine, you sniveling rat. All right. All right, I think. I'm going to get this over with before the men have breakfast. And if you won't pull the lever, I'll do it myself. must now be carried out as for the sentence of the court. The trap won't work. It won't work. We can't hang him now. We can't! Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. Might call it the case of the haunted.
bearded hangman who was in there swinging but got caught in his own trap. <laughs> I've heard that if a man resists hanging the first time, he can't be hanged again. But I'm not at all sure this is the case. Let's find out, shall we? More stuck in his cell? Yes, sir. Go mix the kicker up her house, still. They keep the doors closed. You ask me, we'll have a full-size riot on our hands if we try and hang Morse again. The sentence of the court is clear. Mm. As for the, the fiction that an execution cannot be attempted twice, that's utter rubbish. We must simply persevere, that's all. Uh, do it yourself. I can't. Very well, Charters. I shall. We'll first be so good as to help us with that bag of sand. We'll go and test the trap again. Now, there's nothing wrong with the mechanism. There's a great deal of matter outside. Come in, Bates. Open the door. Quiet, you men. There's no cause for alarm, men. I want silence here. Any prisoner continuing in this fashion will be severely punished. Shall I sell the alarm and arm my men, sir? Uh, not yet, Bates. Poor oh, devils, I can't blame them. The hangman's got the jitters and none of us believe Moss is guilty. I'm going to telephone the Home Secretary and ask for a stay of execution. Stay of execution until the morning. I'm ordered to have the gallows working or, or resign. The scandal will shake the entire country. He should be reprieved. He's been through enough. Yes, Bates, but the law is the law. There's nothing we can do. Unless we can show clearly that Morse was not guilty of the judge's murder. Not much chance of that, sir. No. And yet, I wonder... You remember the circumstances of the case, don't you? Not very clearly, sir. I followed it at the time, but so far as I can remember, the evidence was clear. Mm. Morse claimed he'd been wrongly convicted of a robbery. He'd found guilty and sentenced to five years' hard labor. Mm. Peters was an hanging judge. He was a man who liked passing sentence of death. Yes, he kept Charteris busy, Judge Peters did. Mm. Morse escaped from prison. And the judge was found shot. And Morse, when he was arrested, could only produce a weak story about a tall man who lured him away from the house. The rest of the evidence was conclusive. I must say, it seems so to me, sir. Bates, if we could find that man... Plenty of people added him for Judge Peters. He sent Manor into the gullers and young Eddie Chance. Had he never deserved to die, it was manslaughter, pure and simple. Bates, that's your opinion. You didn't hear the case. Like animals, just like animals behind bars. I must act soon if they don't stop it. They refused dinner, threw the food about... By the way, where's Chatteris? He's in the duty room, sir. Well, I want to talk to him. He's still raving about this ghost or apparition or whatever it was he saw. Very well, I'll see him there. In the meantime, try to get some sense into the prisoners. This isn't helping anybody. Tell me, is it direct mob action or do they seem to have a leader? Cockney Harry, a lifer. He leads most of the trouble around here. Pella Morsey, sir, escaped with him. Mm. Bring him to my office under guard. Yes, sir. Shall I charge him with a breach of regulations? I want to talk to him first. If he knows Moss, well, he might be able to help. Now, I'd better go and see Charteris. Charteris? I'll tell you I saw it. Standing there in the execution shed, not a ghost of a ghost. Have a drink. Take it easy, man. Why didn't the trap work? 
Tell me that, then. How do I know? Perhaps the wood had warped on it. No, I've inspected it. There's no warp. Put a sack on the trap. Crash, it works. Put moss on it. It don't work. Why? Forces. Supernatural forces, Major Wills. An apparition. A little apparition. The execution will okay. take place tomorrow morning at eight. There must be no slip. You just get a new hangman. You haven't seen him the way I did. You haven't seen him standing around you in the dark? Just a glimmer of the lamps outside the house. Look it. Just as they looked. Just as they looked. Pull yourself together, Just Charlie. as they looked. Like... Uh, pull yourself together. You'll drive yourself out of your mind. Uh, I'll get away my dad went. He tied her up yourself. He never did a better job. He calculated the drop exactly the inch. He just stepped off. It's painless, Major. I ought to know. Stop drinking and stop that gibbering, or I'll have you locked in a cell. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Garrett's in your office. Uh, Garrett? Oh, yes. Cockney Harry. Yeah, I'm coming in a moment. Yeah, he's a tall man, Garrett, yeah. He's a very tall man, isn't he? What do you mean? I just said he was tall. Only one thing you can do to help the situation, Chartres. Sober up. the penalty for acting against authority? Yes. I've got to stand in the corner and get kept in after me sewing class. Mm. Moss is a pal of yours, isn't he? What if he is? You don't like what happened this morning, do you? Makes a change, Governor. This is going to leak out, you know. You can't stop it. Oh, what a jail. The hangman's drunk and the gallows won't work and you're going to try it on the poor devil again tomorrow. The law will take its course and justice will prevail. God, chase my Aunt Fanny around the exercise yard. You smug, bloated, frog-faced son of a... Kill the civil tongue of yours! Leave him, Bates. Leave him. Let him blow off steam. You're a fair man. Everybody says so. Until now, I reckoned you were decent. Hey, for a screw. But you've got no hope, have you? You can't hang, Morse. Go on, try. Get creepy charter is sober and let him have another go. <laughs> You'll go down in history as the man who couldn't hang Morse. <laughs> You'll see. What were you doing in the execution shed today? Ah, just a morbid interest in such things. I had an old uncle once. You admit being in the shed. Uh, it was you whom Charteris saw. I don't admit nothing. Why did you shoot the judge? Me shoot him? Yes, you. You escaped and took Morse with you, not the other way about. Why did you escape, Garrett? claustrophobia. I had a girlfriend once who couldn't even stay in a room with the door shut. <laughs> and not with me, she couldn't. You killed uh, Judge Peters. Why, man? Me kill him? Oh, don't make me laugh. I'm the only bloke with a perfect alibi. And my alibi is Morse. That's who Morse himself. And you were the tall man he met that night. Uh, an unfortunate slip of the tongue, wasn't it, Harry? Bates, bring Morse here. We'll save that man whether he likes it or not. I want the truth. Yes, Morse. Tell him or you're going to get into trouble. Shut up, Harry. Morse, was this the tall man who lured you away from the house that night? Yeah, I've admitted it, boy. It's okay, you can tell him. Yes. Harry asked me to meet him to discuss getting out of the country. He said there was a ship. Yeah, so there was. There you are. I was outside the house with Morse at the time. Now do you believe I didn't kill Judge Peters? We'll see Chartres in the execution room, all of us, now. Let me inform you, I'm a man in a respectable and important government position. I'm not a bit tribal with. And let me tell you this. If I can't hang Morse, nobody can hang him. Morse, I'll see you at eight sharp tomorrow, my lad. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Stay where you are, Jarvis. Have you ever heard of a case before in which a convicted prisoner couldn't be hanged? Uh, lots of them. My colleagues usually won out, you know. Crime doesn't pay, eh, Morse? It seems incredible to me, Charters, that a man in your profession hasn't heard of the most famous case of all. The original case of the man they couldn't hang. What are you getting at, Major? 
Did you plan the escape, Charteris? What? Did you get Morse out of jail in order to give you a perfect setup for murder? Did you frame Morse and betray him? What an idea. And in the end, you found you couldn't go through with it, didn't you, Charteris? I don't say anything you can't prove. You found you couldn't hang Morse in the end, and so you told us the tall story about the ghost in the execution shed and the trap that wouldn't work. Well, you saw it well with a sack of sand in But you? you weren't standing in place, were you, Charteris? Huh? You see, I read that story, too. The man they couldn't hang. And I guarantee that when you stand in place, there's a plank that slides out under the trap and stops it working. Uh, I had to kill the judge. I had to. But why? That's what I can't understand. Why? Because he killed my father. Throw him off his head. Men, my dad wrecked was innocent. They had to go. It was the same with me. I bit off my head with it. The hanging judge, they called him. But he didn't have to do the hanging. I did. I did not. I did. When it comes to be my turn, please let my assistant turn me on. Young Sammy. He's got a touch, Sammy's. He's an artist. I couldn't be succeeded by a better man. Interesting lives some people lead, don't you think? And as for poor Charteris, the executioner, he keeps us in fits of laughter with his merry jests. Here, behind the creaking door. in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. This is your host back again. Just a reminder of our rendezvous next week. Where are we going? Through the creaking door, of course. <laughs> the manufacturers of State Express 3-5's Filter King cigarettes invite you to listen next Saturday at 9 o'clock when they will again present Creaking door.